Hello everyone and uh, welcome to Motion Hub. In this tutorial I will make a 360 turntable uh, for a 3D model, something that you can do in Marmoset toolback, but this time I will do it in Unreal Engine 5. As always we will start from the Epic Game Launcher and I will open uh, Unreal Engine 5.4 and you can do it in any other version. I will choose something to work with in the fab library so I will go to discover 3D models and then here in the price I will uh, check the free and let's see uh, something that we can visualize in our tutorial okay maybe let's use this uh, plasma cutter and it's free from Edwin Wagha so I will press download and we will download the GLB file because it will contain the textures. I'm going to start a new project, a blank project. Um, we don't need the starter content and I will call it 360 turntable. Okay, it will not accept the numbers so turntable uh, 360. And then we will press create. I will make a new level and choose empty level. And let's call this level save current level as uh, 360 turn table. And we go to settings, plugins, and let's look for SDRI and we need to activate the HDRI backdrop and then we restart the engine let's open our map and then let's add HDRI backdrop okay now I will import my uh, 3D model And be sure to uh, search for combine just in case the object have uh, many parts. So we'll combine uh, uh, static meshes and then we press uh, import so we can get one uh, static mesh. And as you can see the model is huge. I will um, lock the scale and change it to 0.01. Select the object, press F to uh, lock it in the viewport and now I will add skylight and I will set it to movable and change the source type to SLS specified cube map and now we need to import the HDRI I downloaded an HDRI file from polyheaven and you can go to uh, polyheaven.com and you can download it for free so from here you can uh, change it either EXR or SDR and then download now I will select the HDR I will click use selected asset from content browser and now we have our um, HDRI affecting the scene now I will bring this down the our HDRI backdrop and then let's make a new camera from the hamburger menu I will uh, select create camera here cine camera actor and then I will change the perspective to cinematic viewport and to cinema actor and now let me change the film back to 35 mm academy and the crop setting to 16 by 9 and in our case we don't need to use the depth of field or the focus and I will turn the focus to uh, disable it and now let's add a plane so we can make the background and let's make it something big like 500 and I will rotate it minus 90 degrees and then let's set up the camera now 
Now let's go to the skylight and I will adjust the cube map resolution to 2048 and I will adjust the intensity scale something like 500 and then I will adjust the uh, HDRI backdrop we need to add the same uh, HDRI also here and now I will adjust the size uh, to 5000 and most important we need to add a post process volume in the post process volume I will uh, search for inbound and activate the infinite extent inbound and then let's go to exposure and activate this too and then in the mean max I will set it to zero zero like that we don't have any more auto exposure all right so I think I'm happy with this uh, angle and now I will uh, exit from this uh, camera by ejecting here or stop uh, piloting and then I will add uh, some lights to make some uh, reflection in the model and let's adjust the, the light and from here I will disable the cast shadow so it won't affect the background and maybe rotate it uh, make it like 0.5 or 1 and maybe you should re reduce the intensity here 400 and go to the camera 100 yeah so the intensity scale is 1 and the rect light is maybe 0.5 also I want to add some uh, roughness to the material so some reflection to make it look better and for that I will double click on the main material and roughness what is it yeah roughness I will set it to 0.4 yeah like that we have this uh, kind of reflections 0 0.6 0 0.4 0 0.6 save and now I will add more lights press G this is our rectangular light and we can add one like this we can add another light as backlight in the here let's see our camera it's bright now so I will select all the rectangular light make it point 0.1 and the skylight maybe 0.5 no I think one is fine let's see yep. and I will reduce the intensity in the HDRI backdrop to 0.5 maybe yeah. so if you are happy with the result now let's uh, go to the animation and I will go here in the content right click cinematics level sequence and I will call it LS360 and double click let's save 
and then I will drag the plasma cutter or the 3D model here, the timeline, and I will drag the cine camera actor, our camera. Now we will activate the, we will animate the uh, 3D model, and I will open the rotation yo. I will make set a keyframe here with zero and another keyframe 360 there before that I, I want to ensure that the uh, pivot point is in the center and for that let's go to the modeling and then X form edit pivot press center and then accept now let's get back to selection mode and now we can have it rotating 360 degrees. I think we can make the camera a little bit further. So here our 3D uh, model. And you can change to 30 frames per second or 25 per second. And I will adjust the speed. Make it slower. Let's see. Not like that. Maybe here. Yep, and then I will adjust the timing by taking this red icon and then select both keyframes here and make them linear. So like that you will get a linear uh, movement. Okay. And be sure to extend the uh, camera cut so you can get it in the render. Okay. Maybe let's adjust the camera a little bit set to zero minus 180 and let's see 0.5 yeah maybe you can adjust the uh, background uh, set it to gray uh, I will make a new material for the background. Right click material and let's call it M background. And I will drag it there. Double click and I will press uh, 3 in the keyboard to add uh, a color. 3 constant vector and maybe grayish and just press save let's see i think we can make it a little bit grayish yeah maybe like this so this is our uh, 360 uh, turntable model we need to render the animation and let's go to plugins again and search for render movie render queue and again we will restart now let's open our uh, level and open our sequencer so let's activate the camera like this and now when we press on this uh, button render this movie we will get the movie render queue. I will click on the and save it config. And from here settings. Let's choose anti-aliasing. And change this to 16 and override anti-aliasing. And then I will choose high resolution. And if you want to export it as CPG sequence. And then uh, you can take it to DaVinci or Premiere Pro or After Effects but for me I will choose uh, EXR because it's better better quality and then here in the output I will select my folder and then hit render render local now let's open After Effects or any uh, editing software you have like DaVinci or uh, Premiere Pro 
okay in after effect i will click on file import file and then i will import my renders and be sure to select open exr sequence and then we hit import then we drag it to new composition maybe you can adjust or add more um, adjustment here in after effects let's say i need to add some curve and pimp the color a little bit maybe we can add a solid some like vignettes and i will select here the ellipse tool double click to get this and then in the mask set it to subtract and then in the mask feather i will adjust the feathering and then we can set it to soft light and press t on the keyboard and reduce the uh, opacity like 50 and then we have uh, this result and now if you want to export it as mp4 i will click on composition add to render queue and then here i'm fine with the uh, settings and now we have our 360 uh, turntable uh, file i hope this tutorial is useful for you please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, if you need anything if you need to see any coming tutorial please let me know in the comments thank you so much and uh, see you in the next video